what I did was work extra hours. I... You're gonna have to cut this so it sounds smooth. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Elena, how's it going? Today I'm joined by Francis Cade. He Hello. has his own channel, so I highly encourage you to go and check that out as well. What do you do on your channel? Not daily vlogs at the moment. They'll what? be daily at some point. Basically, the reason why he has a channel and has started his channel is something to do with what we're talking about today. So you're about to find out anyway. But you do do cycling a lot, right? I do channel? do cycling a lot, yeah. So if you're a cycling fan, head over there. So why should you do an epic adventure before or after your university experience and before you head off onto that glorious career path of yours? Why are you going? Well, the weather's terrible here. Yeah, that's true. I'm heading for a year-long trip around the world, basically. Which sounds absolutely amazing. And you're planning to start off in India? Yeah, six months in India, then moving through Bangladesh to Burma, to Thailand and all the surrounding countries until we run out of money. I haven't found a job that I really want to settle down doing yet, and I still feel there's a lot of space for me to grow as a person. Going away will hopefully accelerate that process, make me realize if I do like it here in the UK or not, and yes. And yes. <laughs> and yes. I went to Australia after I finished university, and it was an awesome experience, and I just took time out before I got a job. I was similarly wasn't sure really what I wanted to do after university. I started to get a bit of an idea, but it was while I was away and I really like had all these different kinds of experiences and met different kinds of people and really pushed myself outside of my boundaries that I started to get more of an idea because you're relying a lot on yourself as opposed to when you're in the comfort zone of home. When you're out and traveling, you do learn a lot about yourself and what you like, what you don't like. And then you're able to make career decisions a little bit easier in a way. And the longer you do leave it, the more chance there is you'll have too many commitments to fully go for it, I suppose. Exactly. How have you prepared for going travelling? Because you're going to do quite an expensive travel adventure. Yeah, so... it's taken a long time to save up, um, but it was doable. I don't earn that much over minimum wage at my current job. What I did was work extra hours, stop drinking, I stopped eating out, I stopped ordering takeaway, I stopped spending money on clothes that I didn't need, and before you know it, you end up saving a lot of money. When you're doing these things, think, all right, I might have bought a top, but I'm not gonna buy this top. Instead, I'm gonna take this amount of money. If you're gonna spend 18 pounds, actually physically put that 18 pounds in a savings thing. There you go, thing. put it in then a savings you, thing. Then you know, so it's not just you not spending, you can actually physically see yourself saving. eBay, I sold a lot of stuff on eBay recently, and uh, before you know it, you get into the swing of it, it actually becomes quite easy. Look for old clothes, look for old bits of technology you've got, old headphones, anything like that can be sold. You really can sell anything on that site. Uh, again, use Gumtree if you don't want to post stuff. Uh, and before you know it, it really does add up. The other thing is when you're saving money, it might actually be easier to save if you already go abroad. This sounds a bit bizarre, but this is the circumstance that I found myself in. When I went to Australia, I'd been saving for six months. I was thinking, right, I'll, these are the pennies I'm really gonna have to rely on until I get out there. I get to Australia, I earn way more than I actually earned back in the UK. Australia's minimum wage, very, very good. If that's the, the money concern, then choose the places where actually you can go and you can earn a pretty good minimum wage by going out there. And I know a lot of people will have transferable skills. If you've worked in a pub before, if you've worked in a bar before, they need that. In other countries. If you're in secondary school or high school right now or at university and you're like right I do need another job to sort of get me along think about what might be a transferable skill. That yeah you can use see I mean by all means look at shop jobs as well but bar work, bike mechanic, car mechanic. The other concerns that you might be having are who do you go with who you should do this travel adventure with. What's your plans for your travel adventure? I'm going traveling with my girlfriend thank goodness. We both get on really well we travel well together I know that from the small trips we've done already. I was originally planning to go to Australia with a friend and we decided to go along. She asked me to look at flights. I looked up flights to find out how much it was and budget it for her. And then she kind of dropped off the face of the earth, unfortunately. And so I had this dilemma of, do I go by myself? It's quite a scary thing. I'm going to the other side of the world. Is that something I can do? But it absolutely was. I'm so glad I did it because I'd have, I'd have missed out on something quite amazing. Obviously I went to Australia pretty safe. Um, so again, choosing where you go is kind of paramount and with, if you're going to go alone. But how many people did you end up meeting along the way because of the fact you were travelling alone? Loads. Did it force you to speak to other people Absolutely. More? I found a house full of people who are from Korea and China and Italy, France, and it was an amazing experience because with those travellers you end up doing things 
on your bucket list. So going alone is like, not, shouldn't be an obstacle to you at all. Taking the opportunity to travel before or after university, does that mean that you can't do it later? No, I mean, that's not at all what we're saying. We're just saying that this is a pretty good time to do it because it might influence what you then want to do in later life. It definitely did for me. Have any of you guys been traveling? And if so, do you have any advice for me? If you've already been traveling as well, tell me what your adventures were like and how it influenced you, how it changed what you thought about the world or just your, you know, your career path or your, your your life back home. Maybe you decided to never go back. I know a few of those people. Also, I'm in a vlog on his channel because obviously he's come over to film. There you go. I promise I'll be making a video every day I am away. Yes. Whether I can get that uploaded with the Indian Wi-Fi. Don't know. Don't know. Definitely check out his channel, Francis Cade, and I guess we will be seeing you next week or on his channel. Bye!